Hello, Taurus fam. This is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. I am bringing you your readings for the second half of March 16th through the 31st. Um, and, and yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. First, a little bit of shop talk. I am available on Instant Go. If you have a quick question you want to ask me, the link to my Instant Go uh, profile is in the description box below. I am also available for private readings. If you would like one of those, the my email address and a description of some of the readings that I offer is also in the description box below. Yeah, so let's get to it. Let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it, Taurus. My sun sign is Taurus, so I am very excited to see what this has to say. I did personally resonate with the reading for the first half of the month, so let's see what we got. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Taurus for the second half of March, 16th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, one more shuffle. And... We'll cut the deck. Mm. Taurus, 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 what you got? The chariot. This is a beautiful card to see. Sorry about the glare there. Um, the chariot, you are moving forward. And I'm hearing you're moving forward with your towards your heart's desire. And I don't think there really could be anything more beautiful than that, Taurus, okay? Next, we have judgment. Um, you're being called. This is, an, this, is, this is a higher calling. This is like something, your, your higher self, uh, God, your heart, your spirit team, we're, they're all encouraging you to move in this direction. And we have the eight of pentacles, okay? So you're doing work on yourself. You're learning something new. Um, underneath all of that, we have the nine of wands. Just keep swimming. Perseverance, okay? Fighting, uh, uh, just keep fighting. You know what I mean? Um, you're working towards something, Taurus. You have been working towards something for a very long time. And the universe is conspiring with you to bring you that which your heart desires, okay? So you're being encouraged to just to keep going because you are almost there, Taurus, with the Nine of Wands. I really feel that very strongly. You are almost there. OK, and if you have any questions about whether or not this is where you really should be going, please understand that this is a higher calling. You are connected with yourself. You are connected with God, with the universe, however you want to uh, however you want to call it. Um, don't be afraid. OK, because you're on the right path. You're balanced. You're ready to go. You're doing the damn thing. OK, OK. <laughs> All right. So first in your story, we have strength. Yes with the high priestess. Okay, so there's a lot of major arcana going on, uh, Taurus. So again, if you're feeling unsure about whether this calling is right for you, the universe is behind you, okay? The universe has got your back. And here with strength and the high priestess, I'm hearing there is, a, I'm seeing and hearing that there's a very strong connection between you and your intuition. And it's guiding you in, this, in, this, in the right place. And you are, you are finding the strength to follow the guidance that your intuition is sending you, okay? Also, I'm picking up that some secrets are being revealed to you, potentially, and you're really finding the strength to pull through because some of those secrets, I'm picking up that some of those secrets might be like really <laughs> hurtful or catastrophic, I heard in some cases, and you're really pulling through to fight the good fight, you know, to really go for what you want. OK, moving forward in your story, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, hey, we're showing up here, Taurus, with the Queen of Pentacles here and the star. So, um, yes, you're following your heart. The Queen of Pentacles, you are following your heart. You are following your inner guidance. There is healing coming to you as well. When you as you as you are um, accepting this call, um, healing is coming to you because you're choosing yourself. You're choosing to follow your, your heart and your guidance. And, and like I said twice already, healing is coming out of that. Um, 
Please don't get caught up in gender. Okay, the queen of pentacles is an energy, mostly. But in some specific situations, we could say um, you're following you're following your wish. You know, you your wish is to it, it, this queen of pentacles is wrapped up in this wish of yours, um, with that is depicted by the star. Um, if this, if like, say, if you're you want to move forward with a, like a relationship, you're moving forward towards someone that is embodying your wish fulfillment, someone that is loving, compassionate, a good mother, uh, a good husband, even. Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a good mother, a good father, a good husband, a good wife, um, you know, something like that. Somebody that you see in that way, or you are this queen of pentacles. Well. I mean, most likely you are, we are talking about Taurus here, but, um, and they are an earth sign, um, but you are, you are this person, you are this, this good spouse, this, this, this homebody, this nurturer, this good parent, this um, um, caregiver, you know, someone that really wants to, a homemaker in some senses, um, and your wish is, you are following your wish to find a counterpart, right? That's lovely. And you're moving forward towards it because you have the chariot here. It's like a higher calling for you. And there's movement towards this, which is good. Next, we have the, ooh, the page of wands with the king of swords. Okay. So, and now I did see this as that page of wands was is really going towards the queen of pentacles. So I see somebody coming towards you, Taurus, and giving you a very passionate message. There could be a... Uh, very passionate tryst with someone <laughs> who is showing up as the king of swords. So an air sign, potentially Aries, I'm sorry, Aquarius, um, Gemini, and Libra. Or this person is just very analytical, very um, balanced, mentally um, objective, diplomatic. And I feel like if someone approaches you or vice versa, if you approach someone else, there it had the this this message that's being sent has not um has been thought about this has this action that's being taken has not gone without thought it's not like reckless it's not just a whim willy-nilly whoop let's just do it no no this has been thought about for some time or at least planned out is what i've heard or what i'm hearing next in your story taurus we have two of wands hmm. with the seven of swords now the seven of swords did come up reversed. I don't normally read reversals, but I I could feel how the seven of swords in reverse relates to this two of wands. Because for the most part, I thought you had made your decision and you were moving forward towards something. But now I see what it, what this is saying is you were faced with a decision, or in many cases, in some cases, you still are being faced with a decision. But this decision is coming about through someone someone. Um, trying to get away with something, trying to get over on you on something like that. Like there was somebody in your life that was cheating you in some way. Maybe you were in a relationship, you got cheated on. It doesn't necessarily mean that, but something or some situation in your life left you feeling cheated in some way um, and now are slighted. And now you are faced with a decision to move away, either move away from this situation um, or stay with it somehow. I mean, if someone is is taking advantage of you, I don't suggest that you stay, but it's, it's a situation where it's like you, it's, it, it's a tough, it's a tough decision. And if you've made the decision already, um, it was not an easy one for you. Now I'm seeing also, I'm seeing options here. If we're talking about a relationship, I'm seeing options. You're having, you're between two people, right? You're trying to choose between two people. You're very passionate about both of them. Um, but here with the seven of swords you don't want to leave somebody feeling cheated if this is a twin flame situation and now you are and you're the divine feminine and now you're being faced with a decision of when you stay um single and like wait for your divine masculine to start coming around or do you pursue a relationship with someone else in this sense i could see how the seven of swords is you juggling like well am i Am I cheating my twin? Am I cheating on my twin? Potentially. Am I, um, is someone getting slighted here? 
<laughs> and I just heard when I answered, when I asked that question, the answer that I heard was, yes, you are. <laughs> you are being slighted here. Why? Because you are being, in some cases, you're being taken advantage of. You're being taken for granted, Divine Feminine. And so now you have to choose. Do I stay or do I go now? You know what I mean? But on the other hand, you could be singing, these boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. You know what I mean? Like, well, one of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, I'm just trying I'm just trying to pick out if there's anything else to say here. Because I do, I, I know, I know what you're going through. I mean, I am a Taurus. And uh, this is resonating with me. But um, the, also the reason why you are having to make this decision, Taurus, is because you were cheated. And that's why that's why the answer I got was yes, you are. You have been slighted here, Taurus. So you are you are the reason why you're faced with this choice, even just to begin with, is because of what was going on where you felt slighted in this relationship. And, but, and, and the relationship turned out to be not what you truly desire. And you have connected with what your heart desires. And now with the chariot, you're moving for it, moving towards it. Okay. Excellent. Next, we have the Four of Cups with the Emperor. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So if, yeah, if you're in a twin flame situation, that's exact. <laughs> I'm a twin. I'm the divine feminine in my situation. And hell yeah, my divine masculine has been rejecting my offers, has not been responding, has just been pushing me aside. So, you know, at some point you gotta say, look, okay, if this is not a twin flame situation, if you have been making an offer towards someone, Taurus, um, and they haven't been accepting it. What I'm seeing here is the emperor, the emperor's energy is getting entwined here and it's really controlling. Like there's a really, there is a heavily controlling aspect to whatever this relationship is, whatever the situation is. And that is why the offer that the Four of Cups is talking about has not been accepted. That is why someone has been taken advantage of or taken for granted even. That's what's really being said here. And so then you can get into uh, some other aspects of how this can play out. And the emperor is one of the ways that the divine masculine can be depicted in the um, tarot. And so here it's saying an offer was being made to the divine masculine and he did not take it. For whatever reason. And please understand that I'm not I'm not judging anybody, you know, especially if you're on this twin flame journey, like there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. And um, um, if your divine masculine didn't accept your offer, it's not because he's a bad person, okay? It, it's, it, there could be a plethora of different reasons why. It doesn't make him a bad person. But at the same time, if you're being taken for granted, you don't have to stay in that situation. If someone is acting towards you in a way that is undesirable, you don't have to stay associated with it. And to be quite honest, it is a practice of unconditional love for yourself to say, mm, no, this doesn't, this does not serve me. I'm going to move forward and do something else. At least until you, you know, you can approach this situation differently. I need to go somewhere else and I need to put a boundary. I need to set some stronger boundaries here. Finally, in your story, Taurus, ooh, we have the devil with the six of cups. Okay, what does this say? Um, the six of cups did come out in reverse and that spoke to me. Um, and it's speaking to, this is in relation to what we were just talking about with the Four of Cups and the Emperor. The Six of Cups talks about soulmate relationships. It talks about twin flame relationships also. Um, it also talks about nostalgia and like looking back at the past and childhood, inner child work. And what's coming through here um, for whoever, whoever was 
taking you for granted, or say you were taking someone for granted, Taurus, um, and now they are choosing to walk away from you, this situation with you, understand that the reason why this came, this was happening is because there's devil energy here in this situation. There's fear surrounding this connection. It's a very strong connection here with the Six of Cups. I, I, you, whether you're a twin flame or not, just if you're just like a soulmate or something, it is a very strong connection, okay? But the, there's fear surrounding it because of the energy of the devil. And that is why people have acted in the ways that they have out of fear. That was just, I mean, the universe is saying we were just really just trying to reassure you guys with that last one, actually with the last two sets. And honestly, don't feel like you're slighting someone else if you choose to go in a different direction because the person that you initially wanted to move forward with is still wrapped up in fear and devil energy and is still taking you for granted. Again, you, I will always encourage you guys to choose yourselves first. Okay, now I'm not asking you to be selfish or egotistical, but I'm saying you got to take care of you first. And if someone is taking you, taking you for granted, someone is taking advantage of you, someone's cheating on you, someone is cheating you in some way, you don't have to stay associated with that person, even if they're your twin. Okay, guys? Excellent. So there it is. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, and I will see you for the first half of April. All right, Taurus? Love you, fam. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.